a t-shirt to a dress, a successful project. And I'm really happy with the way it has turned out. So I have two t-shirts that I want to share with you. So I want to make both t-shirts into one t-shirt. It can either be a dress or a very long or a very long t-shirt. Um, I want to keep the black as the main t-shirt. So I'm going to be adding bits of the white t-shirt, but I'm going to try my best to use as as much as this as possible. If anything, maybe the neck may be left over, but I'll try and incorporate it somehow. You know what I'm like. Um, I try to have the minimum amount of waist as possible when I am refashioning garments. So um, I, I've been playing around with some ideas in my head of how I want this to, to work, but um, I must admit it is a little bit of a struggle because as I said earlier, I just don't want any waste. So I'm going to do this in stages. So it's the this wording, yeah, that I want to place on top of this t-shirt. So I also want to use the back onto the t-shirt as well. So it's going to be like a sleeve that goes onto the actual black t-shirt and then sew that into position. So you've got the white with the text across the front and then the back is going to be just plain white. And then I'm going to lengthen the black t-shirt with the white. But let's do it in stages to begin with. So at the moment I'm going to fold away the black t-shirt and then we're going to focus on the white t-shirt and it's just about cutting at this stage. So I'm going to bring you down. First thing to do is turn your t-shirt to the wrong side and then I'm going to remove the sleeves because we're going to lengthen the sleeves so I'm going to add the sleeves onto the black. So we do that first. The sleeves are now removed, I just need to cut out the middle section. This wording is not straight. I'm going to get my uh, pattern drafting ruler and put it across like so. As you can see there's a big difference there. doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter, we're all about refashioning clothing and this is going to be the new aesthetic to clothing if we are to stop clothing from going into landfill. So I'm going This is what is may be left over. Got to find a way to incorporate this section into the actual t-shirt. So let's get to the bottom section. Oh, I don't want to cut into these, so I have to just get them out of the way somewhat. Actually, maybe it would be best yeah, I'm going to go for doing it this way because it's not going to be straight as we know. I can put it here. There's my ruler. So we're going to put this section onto the black shirt. So here we have it, like a tube. I haven't cut the side seams, not yet anyway. <laughs> so let's bring in the t-shirt. Okay. So let's slip this onto 
the share like this. I did make this slightly smaller. If you don't know how to make a t-shirt smaller, I do have a video tutorial and I'll link that in the description. I'll also share a bit more advice and tips towards the end of the video, so keep watching. Right. So there we go. We know the wording isn't straight. That's the front. Let's see what the back is like. That's a bit twisted, yes. Okay. Do I have to cut this into... No, I think this might do. I don't have to cut the seams or the back. Let's flip it back over. I want to concentrate on this wording and making sure that lies. So it's a nice shape in here. You've got the curves from the original armhole of this t-shirt. As you can see, the wording is not straight. So let's just tuck that under like so. Yeah, that's nice and straight. It doesn't matter whether, you know, if you've got any graphics on your t-shirt and it's not centered or, it just adds a bit more character to the garment, doesn't it? Right, so yeah, I'm happy with that. That's nice. Yes, and that's a fit, and that's a pretty good fit as well. So now what I need to do is take this to the sewing machine and sew this section down first. But before I do that, I think I need to pin. Should I just sew on top? Yeah, for a change, I will do that. So I'm going to put some pins in. Let's see, I'm gonna go in this direction. Yeah. Put some pins in. Just want to go through the top layer. Sew this into position, it's a straight stitch or even a zigzag stitch, uh, a stretch stitch if you have that functionality on your sewing machine. Just one row of stitching straight down. I'm not going to go here, Does it, I don't need to. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom edge here. like so. I'm going to do it all the way around the t-shirt. I'd also do the same technique here on the back of the t-shirt. Yeah, that's looking nice, that's looking okay. So I'm going to take to my sewing machine and sew here first, and then I'm going to do the same on the back, exactly the same process. It will end up looking exactly the same as this, where I won't sew down the actual original armor of the t-shirt. Hello, if you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely. I'm all about inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas to recycle fashion. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. I have sewn the top section, that's the front and that's the back. I was going to sew the bottom edge. Well, I like it. I like it raw, I think, and keeping it loose. And I think it's these little tassel things 
here kind of goes with it sort of thing so as I was sewing that I was thinking hmm that's nice actually so I'm not going to sew this down this edge just going to leave it loose so the next step is to put the sleeves on and then to put the bottom section on to lengthen it but at the moment it's looking cute but before I do any of that let's try this on I may just put a sleeve on yeah because it's a fitting stage so I want to see if, the, if I'm going to go with the sleeves I will do <laughs> but I just want to make sure it, it, it looks right I may have to pull away a little bit I won't know until we actually do the fitting so let's do that next this is turning out to be very nice oh my goodness this is the back the front I've had the sleeve, I've added the other sleeve onto there, onto the black sleeve. Oh, that's going to be nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, a good result. I could, you know, at some stage, maybe later on, sew that down. But you know, I think, I think, I think it made a Yes, yeah. For me, that's yes. Yeah, it's not bad as well. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, let me just show you the. So, this is going to be the remainder of the shirt. Oh, I've got the neckline, isn't it? Which I don't think is going to be part of this project. That must be part of another project. So, let's put this on. Oh, this is going to be, it's going to be lengthened. I'm going to add this at the bottom. Ooh. Yes, I like that. See, could it be a dress? Yeah. Oh, yes. I might actually put the sleeve on. This is a wrong. This is the wrong side. And I quite like that effect. I didn't mean to. I just when I put them um, and I stitching the side. Okay. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. Because I'm only just um basic it into position. But I actually do like the fact that it's on the wrong side. I think it was meant to be that way. So I'm gonna keep it that way, so I'm gonna make sure the other one is matching. But adding the yeah. Almost used all of the t-shirt. To add the sleeve onto the other sleeve, you're going to make sure, well you don't have to make sure that it's on the wrong side, it's up to you whether you want it the right side or the wrong side, I've chosen the wrong side. So it's just a case of slipping it onto the sleeve, roughly about, it's about an inch, maybe a bit more to an inch. So about five centimetres, roughly about there. Really does depend on you. And then you're going to get find the centre of this and make sure it follows through on this shoulder line of the shirt. And place a pin. And then get some more pins and then pin the sleeve into position like so try not to pull and try to make sure that the sleeve is more or less the same size in width if there is if there is a bit more in this sleeve or that sleeve there is an opportunity for you as you are sewing just to ease them both together so that it fits and there shouldn't really be any pulling okay that's ready so all i need to do now is base stitch this and take it to the sewing machine
it's now time to add the bottom section of the white t-shirt onto the bottom of the black t-shirt so that we're going to make it long oh let me I think what I'm, I'm going to keep with the same theme with the sleeves and turn it to the wrong side yeah that looks nice and then it's just a case of then I wouldn't you can do this this is going to be personal choice again you can actually put it onto your t-shirt like this take it to the sewing machine and stitch both edges together and do a straight stitch all the way around or you can do it the way I'm going to do it which is to match up the seams I'm placing this one on top of the white one because I want it to look as though it's the white one is coming from underneath with this technique compared to the first one I sh just showed you so I'm just going to pin that all the way around I'm going to make sure that I've got just enough covering the raw edge of the white t-shirt because I want it to be as long as possible and then I'm going to baste I may base, I may not, it depends. I don't think I will. But if you want to, I'll leave a link to how to do the basting stitch in the description. So it's gonna continue putting that all the way around. and last fitting I'm done let me give you a twirl yeah it's cute it's so gorgeous um yeah I'm happy the way it's turned out I know the text that was on it wasn't quite straight but that's fine I think you always have to bear in mind especially when it comes to t-shirts because they're not all made that well um, regardless of price point as well um, so it's, it's, you know it really is just about a case of if you find a nice clean healthy looking tees purchase them from thrift store charity shop and just refashion them you know give them a new lease of life that's the whole point of my channel that's the whole point of my message that i'm trying to tell you that don't worry too much about the aesthetics of refashion garments because this is the way clothing is going to look if we are going to upcycle or refashion so i'm really happy with the result of this so i can officially say this is a dress a t-shirt to a dress a successful project and I'm really happy with the way it has turned out. So yes, you will see me styling this um, on my Instagram or my community tab. Yeah, do check out my Instagram, definitely on my Instagram. My community tab, it will be with other garments that I'll do as part of my outfits of the week. And yeah, and anytime I want to let you know that I'm wearing it, I shall let you know through social media. Tips and advice. Do not worry about the state in which the t-shirt is whether it's slightly off grain or not. Um, it's just the way t-shirts are regardless of price point. Um, any graphic will do. It could be a picture graphic, it doesn't necessarily have to be text. I just wanna show and inspire and motivate you and show you the possibilities of what can be done when you want to upcycle or refashion t-shirts into a dress or even into a long t-shirt, whatever you prefer to 
wear. So this has been a successful project. I have managed to use the sleeves. So this is an addition onto this sleeve which is good it looks cute aesthetically it looks really really good this section here even though i didn't stitch this down would be a possibility so do consider that maybe base and then try it on and see if you're happy with that and then you could probably do the top stitching if you didn't want top stitching that's also possible all you need to do is make sure that you um place the shirt the the right side of the shirt that you want to do for this section on top of this section so it's right side to right side just sew across and fold this down and then you're done no stitching will be seen um with this one if you didn't want any stitching at the bottom it may require you to actually it will require you to actually use some hand sewing and you know i'm a great advocate for you to do some hand sewing so do bear that in mind um yeah what i discovered is also that i've I do like the effects of the using the wrong side of the t-shirt on both this bottom section and also the um, sleeves. I do think, I may, I do need to press though, I do need to press and do press as you go along, says me who hasn't done that. Um, I may do another top stitching just to keep this line a bit flat, but I'll press first and see how that goes. But I like the fact that I've did some um, contrast stitching so it kind of matches with the pipe so all that is left for me to say now is just experiment you don't have to follow every single step that i have just go with what feels comfortable for you as long as you are refashioning that's the most important thing so if you enjoyed this tutorial you found it helpful please do like share under the like button is the subscribe button it would be amazing if you actually subscribe to my channel because it will help my channel to grow if you have any comments about this project or any other project that you are probably considering and may want help with then put those in the comments below and yeah that's it and i will see you next time thank you for watching